All right, well, a program funded by American Express and the U.S. Chamber of Commerce to promote black-owned small businesses has selected a young Houston company among this year's recipients. Fox 26 business reporter Tom Ziska says the recognition is helping Three Keys Coffee find a greater circle of customers. In Houston's Finn Hall downtown, the smell of fresh brewed coffee is new. Three Keys Coffee is the latest tenant in the food hall, offering a Houston roasted pick-me-up for downtown diners. For owner Kenzel Fallon, the coffee shop was a natural progression for the three-year-old business she started with her coffee roaster husband. This was a way for us to be able to say, hey, this is how our coffee should be tasting and to be able to give, give customers that experience without having to go through the legwork and the effort of trying to figure that out at home. Prior to their own coffee shop, Three Keys was focused on online sales, a deal to supply Trader Joe's and other coffee shops. Along the way, Food & Wine magazine named them the best coffee roaster in Texas. This latest expansion was possible through a $25,000 grant from the Coalition to Back Black Businesses, which was started in 2020 to help struggling businesses survive the pandemic. In a statement, the organization says, our goal is to drive meaningful change within the black small business community by offering them the support they need to thrive and unlock new opportunities. It's a helping hand that Kenzel Fallon says can be difficult for black owned businesses to find affordably on their own. Well, having this opportunity to have grant funding, to be able to have that investment um, is something that um, is really critical and needed for black owned businesses in order to see them thrive and succeed. Three Keys Coffee is one of 14 recipients awarded grants across the country and the only one in Texas. The program also offers business mentoring and coaching to help them achieve long term success. Watching Your Money, I'm Tom Ziska, Fox 26 News.